I'm going to show you how to change and customize the keyboard on your iPhone. Let the download begin. So if you're new here and you want to learn how to use and troubleshoot your devices, plus some other cool tech stuff, we can help. All you need to do is go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you know when we release some helpful content. So one of the first things we're gonna do is jump right into the menu for adding keyboards to your iPhone. So in this menu, you can actually set up some default keyboards that Apple already has installed, or you can actually initialize some third-party keyboards that you install yourself by downloading them from the app store. So to jump into this menu, you're just gonna launch your settings app from the home screen, tap general, you're gonna swipe down in the menu and you're gonna tap keyboard and then you're going to look at the very top you're going to look for the keyboards button and when you're in this menu you have the new keyboard option so if you hit that you're going to have a bunch of list of different keyboards that can be added to your iphone so in this section you can basically just add keyboards from all around the world and their default keyboards that apple has pre-installed in your iphone itself but in this section, you can also, like I said, add third-party keyboards. And you can get these third-party keyboards simply by going into the App Store, typing in keyboards or typing in a specific keyboard you know about, downloading the keyboard, and you can enable that third-party keyboard from this same menu. So once a third-party keyboard is downloaded and installed in your iPhone, you'll see it populate in this other keyboard section that's below the main keyboard section in this menu. And all you really have to do is tap on that particular keyboard to activate it in your phone and you're good to go. Now to set a keyboard or specific keyboard as your default keyboard, you just need to go to that list of active keyboards, hit the edit button on the very top. It's gonna to activate that list so you can kind of move around and you're gonna press and hold on the keyboard you wanna be your default keyboard and move it on up to the top of the list and that's all you really need to do. So now that your keyboards are actually set, we can jump into any text app that activates the keyboard on your iPhone and I'll show you exactly how to switch seamlessly between the different keyboards you already have set up in your system. So now all you really have to do is in the bottom corner of the keyboard, you're gonna either see some numbers or you're gonna see a globe and you're basically just gonna tap and press on that globe or numbers and it'll bring up the list of keyboards you have active in your active keyboard list and you can seamlessly switch between the different keyboards on the fly. You can even access the keyboard settings from this menu as well. So you have everything kind of set up in a one-stop shop. You can customize your keyboard experience on your iPhone across the board and it's really just what suits you. So if you guys have any questions at all or if you're having any trouble setting up your keyboards, go ahead and share that in the comment section below this video. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. So you can go ahead and click on this video here. This video will tell you some settings on the iPhone you should probably turn off immediately. And this video is something that YouTube thinks you would enjoy watching. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notification. And until next time, peace.